supposed to have some games. Well, unfortunately, the 79 Calais is still sitting here in the driveway. It never made it out of the driveway after we put the rear end in it. And the reason for that is the brakes would never bleed. Couldn't get any brakes out of it. But who needs brakes, right? Yeah, anyways, we, uh, we're bleeding the rears because we put the rear end in it. And in the process, the front line blew out. The passenger line that goes from the proportioning valve to the passenger front caliper blew out right at one of the clamps right on the other side of the frame here so we uh, replaced the line as you can see this line looks pretty old but actually this line I pulled off the 78 cutlass white the uh, white 78 cutlass parts car because that line was replaced at one time and it came right off so went ahead and replaced the line went ahead and started bleeding the brakes once again still couldn't get the rear brakes to bleed we got them to bleed one time and then the pedal got soft again we had several hours into this whole brake system trying to figure it out and what happened was the master cylinder is now bad you can see it's all wet right below it so it's bleeding past the valves inside the master cylinder internally so got a uh, a new master cylinder got a bench bleed that and put it on and hope we can get these brakes working but that's pretty much the status of the 79 calais the 260 is still in it it's got the 342 posi in it now couldn't get the brakes working so we'll throw a master cylinder on it see if we can get the brakes to bleed out properly and take it down out on the road and see what this little 260 can do with the 342 before I go ahead and pull it out and drop the 403 in there old cars you gotta love them. <laughs>